Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. It's about noontime, thought I'd do one more vlog update. The next update you see from me will likely be with the landfall. We'll do a live stream, so stay tuned for our Weather IQ page for that. But I wanted to get an update because we're getting close to landfall. The circulation is very close to Georgetown. It looks like that's where we'll see landfall. The thing I'm watching right now, and we're going to now cast this, and what that means is basically just monitoring the current situation then going into the next couple of hours so it's pretty easy to see what's going on here i'm going to put the track on real quickly and you can see the track takes it up through florence and just east of charlotte but what i really am concerned about and really probably the worst weather we're going to see in this whole event i won't say concerned but just something i'm watching for the, the worst weather this big band of of rain and convection which is basically thunderstorms but not a lot of lightning that's really strong wind and rain and if you do the projections on where that's going to move especially at the center which is just the center by the way there's still tons of weather happening out here in eastern north carolina but this little ball of rain and wind is actually going to probably move right over the charlotte metro area right there so in and out the leading edge is like right here okay so what is it uh, noon when i'm doing this so by one o'clock it's here by two o'clock, three o'clock. But remember, that's the leading edge. The big batch down here is probably gonna be over Charlotte closer to like five, six, seven, eight o'clock this evening. So I'll loop this a couple times and you could see how that's moving. And why is that a big deal? Well, that's where we have flash flood <laughs> warnings underneath there. And if I turn on the surface um, data real quickly, I'll turn the surface data on. I wanna show you the wind gusts that are currently occurring. So within that band, you could see around Charleston, They've got a wind gust right now to 56 miles per hour in around Georgetown, 47, Mox Corner, about 43. So you could see there's flash flooding and damaging winds close to 60 miles per hour in that little band. So where does that go? Well, that looks like it's going to pass right over the heart of the Piedmont coming up later this evening. We've got a wind gust right now to 32 miles per hour. So just to put that in perspective on what's heading our way. So if I loop this a couple of times, you could see what's going on. So real quickly, let me turn that off. I'm going to turn everything off. We'll do a quick short range rapid refresh forecast of where this is going. So again, there's the forecast. This is the guidance, the short range rapid refresh model. We'll go through time and you can see that leading edge of the heavier rain moving into the Charlotte area right about there. Let's go to four o'clock. Um, you can see the heavier rain really starting to pick up. I'll go to five, six, seven o'clock. This is when, boy, we could really see some heavy rain bands moving in. And at the same time, some really strong winds. We'll go a little bit further, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. So you get the idea this evening between 4 p.m and 10 p.m., maybe even 11, will be the worst of this weather. I would say 4 to midnight as this moves off to the north. And you can see um, off to the east, look at that band going up there. So, you know, I have the track of the center. Remember, the cone only shows you where the center of the storm is, not where all the weather is. And just to put that in perspective, let's look at the wind radii. This is the wind radius. See a big blue area? That's tropical storm force winds, the 58 mile hour winds, and the hurricane force winds in there. We do the forecast. You can see how that's going to travel inland and you can see moving right over the charlotte area east so west looking a little bit better as far as wind but we're still looking at significant wind and rain now i do think flash flooding will be minimal but i cannot rule it out when this band gets up here because of what we've seen to the south we've seen several inches of rain in a short period of time so a good chance we're going to see some flash flooding with this this is the forecast track that's the future cast model you can see it moving up here so the worst weather is ahead I will have an update coming up probably in the next two hours as we have landfall down in South Carolina.